Hello, I'm Pete and welcome back to Tomb Raider Underworld. We are in this room trying to figure out how to open these gates. It's quite uh, it's quite punishing the jumping puzzles we've got in here. Lots of lots of falls that will kill you. Which um, I suppose it's all part and parcel of the job. <laughs> that was a jump that was never going to work. Okay, where have we been thrown back to? This is interesting. This kind of looks like it's nowhere near where we were before. But it might be good. Oh no, that's that's where we were just now. Okay, so I want to jump to this pillar here. And then if I can to this area over here. It hurt, but I'm, I'm still good. I uh, can't jump up from here, I don't think. Well, I can maybe do a chimney. Nothing to grab onto, though. No. No, we need to figure out a way back across. Uh, can I jump to the top of that? No. It hurts. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to need to try and find my way safely down to ground level. Exactly how that will be done is going to be a question. How far down is it? Too far. Okay, I jumped to that thing. Answer? No. Let's try again. Maybe I just got unlucky. No, no, luck is not a factor here. Entirely ability. I think uh, I think there's going to be no shortcuts here. I'm going to have to do this the, uh, the the proper methodical way. Let's get ourselves across to here. Let's jump ourselves up, and I think we can, we can jump to that thing from here. I wonder if now maybe. Uh, let's go to that thing there, and I feel like this is probably a good drop. I do maybe hear critters. No, I think we're good. Oh. Seeing things. It's the leaves. The leaves have movements. Right, so I need to get up to that thing there. I was so close to it before. There's a climbable wall there. That might be the answer. Let's give that a try. Okay, I've got a ping. Got another health pack, that's good. We're accumulating these for when I need them. A beam. I mean, they wouldn't put the beam here if it wasn't necessary, right? Okay, this is going quite well. Can we get around the corner? No. Um, maybe I can do a chimney jump from the left here. Oh dear. There's that moment, isn't there, where you press the jump button and Lara leaps off in a completely different direction to what you intended and you you can't do anything except just watch. Alright, this, this thing here is probably a bit better. That allows me to jump across to there, which I don't really need. Can I go up higher? Can I chimney? No. Okay, I, th I think I, I do need to get across to this one over here. It wouldn't be here if there wasn't a reason. Oh, I, I can do the standing thing. All right. And then from here, I think I've got a ledge I can jump to. Lovely. And take the thing off here. And that's going to open the second bit of gate. Oh no, this opens a gate beneath me. Alright, things aren't happening in quite the sequence I was expecting. Uh, can I drop off here? Oh! I see you. All the birds are incoming. Not sure if I got them all. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. Alright. 
dropped. Uh, let's get to the edge. Um, that feels like that's going to be too far to drop. I don't want to do that. What about this one? No. I wonder if I can use that, that Q ring and grapple down a bit. No then. No, 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 not that. Okay. Let's try getting back up here. See, I want to be down there, but that's way too far to fall, isn't it? I mean, I'm going to try a little drop down here. So the game doesn't want me to do that. Understood. Okay, this will do, I think. This is uh, this is where that door was. Oh, she did it again. Didn't kill her that time. Which in many ways is more annoying, because it means I need to go all the way round. I thought I'd picked that health pack up before, but apparently not. Yep, grab onto that. Here we go. And this time, straight up. Okay. Alright, this is the new door that has been unlocked. There's some dramatic music. There's a ring. Well, I feel a little bit cheated there, because how was I to know that that wasn't going to be a makeable jump? Okay, it's giving me E instead. Maybe I just need to get more of a swing on. Yeah, just need a bit more of a swing on. There's a beam up there that looks interesting. I wonder if there's a secret hidden up there. Ah, oh, well, too late now. Okay. One of these. And there is a ring. Oh, you can climb up. Allows me to jump to there. Okay. Uh, can I jump up from here? I can. Little health pack there. I think that's a bonus. Well, oh, there's something over there. I want it. We're doing pretty well here. Oh, oh, no, no, I didn't want you to do that. Oh, don't do that. That was the longest scream of my life. Okay. All the way back here. Yeah, I thought so. It's one of the problems when you're on a little quest for secrets. Because you're not sort of progressing the way that the main story wants you to go. It's not giving you all those little pings. All those little bonus save points. So, if you do fall, it can be a little bit further back to the last save point. Okay, and then this one here. I want to jump across to that. Let's get ourselves up so we can do this jump. And then that will drop us down to where we started. Okay, uh, let's use the ring. Can I jump here? I can. I need a bit more length there. Let's get a good old swing on and hope we make this. We did, thank goodness. Okay, so we're back here. There's a ring. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Oh, and I missed that jump. Oh. And the problem is it's going to reload my last auto save, which means I need to go and pick up my secret again. I should make more use of manual saves. Oh, hang on. No, no. The, the secret has been picked up. Well, that's good. Okay, so it takes you back to the last save point. But progress in terms of pickups and things isn't necessarily lost. That's good. Right, this ring I can get. Uh, and let's just jump through there. There we go. And there's the little ping of an auto save point. Makes Pete happy. Coming out in some daylight. Oh, it's another tiger. Yep. Come on, follow me into my into my lair. 
was a long protracted death. There's going to be another one, isn't there? As I pick up these things, it's going to disturb the beast. I feel like the puzzles here are they're, they're kind of they're a bit nesty, aren't they? You know, I, I'm, I'm going I'm only half completing a room before I'm sent on to the next one, and I'm then going to need to backtrack and, and do loads. There's a lot to keep track of. So there's some little sticky outy beams. They're going to be relevant. I feel like I just saw a critter moving. Let's destroy the stuff in the corner. And let's figure out where we can go from here. Okay, there's some white ledges over there. All right. I think we're, we're moving. Okay, so let's jump our way to the, this little posty thing. Let's make our way around here, I think. That probably needs to drop down to this one. And I think the chimney jump is going to be in order here. There's something up here. I'm not alone. Oh, I see something down there. Very shiny. I also felt like I saw something moving. Could be imagining things. Right, let's keep making our way up here. Is there an up here? I might be imagining the up here. Uh, across to there, maybe? Oh, across to there. Let's have that. See, I think what tends to happen is I hear the ping of an autosave and it makes me very confident. And I think, yeah, we can try anything. I, I think I'm not going to be jumping over there. I think there might be nothing more to be had up here. Which is a shame, because I quite like being high up. Gives me good visibility. And there was an autosave here. That's the thing, isn't it? I could, I could try a running jump. Get a bit of sprint on. Oh, that just made me hit my face into the floor even harder. All right, so maybe being up here isn't the answer to all of mankind's problems then. Let's make our way back down. Yeah, I think we can get to that platform from the top of these pointy things in a more conventional manner. Let's jump to that thing. And then a big old jump across to there. Now that's not going to help me get to the other side, is it? Yeah, I've hit a dead end. This was no good. Uh, I kind of want to get to that platform up there. And it looks like these grabby, grabby ledges are involved in that in some way. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to pull that up. Oh, actually, I see a ledge up there that looks relevant. Okay, this gives me an idea. Let's make our way back around to where we were before. So I think I can drop off this ledge here. Yes, uh, let's drop down a little bit further. Make our way around here. And then I can jump to that little poly thing there. I can in principle. In practice, not going so well. Thankfully, it's put me in the right place. Let me see. Those things over there look nice. No good options, though. Let's try dropping down one level here. And jumping across to this. Okay, I, th I think I think we're there. Oh. Missed it again. I mean, it's only a little secret up there. But then I'm... I'm conscious of the fact that I need to be making my way upwards in this room. That's got to be the way to complete this room. One of the things I've forgotten about some Tomb Raider games is how how very often you find yourself in the situation where you need to just keep doing the same thing over and over again. You know, there's a sequence of jumps and if you fail one of them, then it sends you back 
to the start and how incredibly frustrating that is. Now, one of the nice things about the reboot Tomb Raider games is they don't do that anywhere near as much. I will give them the credit there. But yeah, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm finding a fair amount of it. So how am I going to get higher? Chimney? Maybe chimney. I don't know, th these... These ones here, they're, they're not in a chimneyable way, really. They're not perpendicular. Well, there is... There is a platform behind me. Oh, but that's where I came from, I think. I thought I had that. Maybe I need to jump to that from this one here. Well, that's understandable. Okay, round I go again. Editing this video is going to be fun. Alright, here we go, back on this beam. Let's jump to that beam. And then from this one we can jump to that post. And then to this wall. And then we'll make our way over to where this secret is held. How do I get to that? There we go. It's just a question of the right timing. Okay. That does give me a quick save point as well. So I want to make my way over to... Not over there. To where? Up there? I guess? I think this might be a good opportunity for some field assistance. I think it's time to figure out what these gems do. Okay. I need to return to the statue of Shiva and Kali and use these gems I've found. Okay, if you say so, yeah. I mean, I feel like we haven't sort of done everything yet. Is this just an entirely optional room? Or is this like... This could be a shortcut back to the statue of Shiva and Kali? Let's try going back this way. See if our way back is blocked. It's hard to know, isn't it, whether I'm being presented with a, a shortcut. Well, let's do what the game tells us. Let's backtrack. See, I'm not sure I can backtrack here. I don't think there's a ring for me to grab hold of. I think I have... Oh. Oops. Well, that's fine. That gets us back to where we were. I think we have gone down too many unrevertible ways. And the only thing we can do now is keep going. And I think here I need to go over the top. And I'm sort of regretting having backtracked a bit now because that now means I need to do some of this again. Yeah, I think we need to figure out this room and that will then take us back to the statues. I think they're probably very close. Right, let's uh, let's try and get ourselves back up high again. So I'm seeing platforms up there and I want to go to them. But I'm not seeing any way of doing that at the moment. Let's explore around here. I feel like getting around to that ledge there is probably the answer. So let's jump to this little posty thing. Then to here. Let's try going left, because we haven't been left yet. Okay, so she's not offering me anything. Oh, there's a, a jump up a ball there. Which I can grab. Oh, no. Oh, I hate it when you lose so much progress with a bad jump. I think we were onto something there, though. Okay. Let's uh, let's swing towards that ledge now. Thank you. And... Oh, can I keep going up? Uh, don't like the look of this. It feels like I need to chimney jump. But it doesn't feel like it's going to work. Oh, something worked. Please give me a save. Oh, thank goodness. All right, I think we're going to end this episode here. Getting through this room has been pretty tricky. And it's not even over yet, because one big fall... Well, to be honest, one big fall will kill me. So at least I'll be returning to this save point, I would hope. But we're nearly out of this section, and it's, uh, it's giving me good times. Hope you join me for the next episode of Tomb Raider Underworld. Bye-bye.